I guess today are, it's, it's a different day. Today we're going to have a ton of news and actually very exciting news as well now. We're going to have more information about the Mythical Wishes season, which of course hints towards the most likely shiny version of Jirachi, which we're going to be able to get at the end of the season during the Hoenn Tour, which is basically what's going to happen. Spoiler alert. But there's more to come. There's way more to come. There is a lot to come. We're going to have here something which we're going to take a look at very soon. A lot of things going to be shown in here which is very interesting so don't always skip like the commercials about it take a look at this we're going to take a look real quick at the season first though we're going to have um, the go tour coming up which is uh of course the go tour that's the horn tour which is coming up in like 22 hours it's basically the entire season basically and we're going to have uh, some interesting things coming up here first mythical wishes make a wish will your wish come through basically you're going to have more XP or X, whatever, what's the option? This bonus will additionally existing. You can pick an option here, that's cool. You're gonna get like an additional bonus which you can pick an option, that's very nice. Um, I would go for starters most likely. Um, but we have some featured news here. You see one already, which we're going to take a look at later. Um, the other one I already took a look at today on a different video, but Mega Thept Septile, Blaziken, and Swampert are coming through, very cool. Um, we're going to have here the Go Battle League, but we have also some interesting features here. XXS and XXL Pokemon are coming, which you can see here, which I actually like. Um, size differences between Pokemon, which is now something in the main series games as well, going to come to Pokemon Go, which I really like. That's a very cool feature. It's just something visual, but I really like. I hope it's also in Go Battle League. That would be amazing to see like a very small po Pokemon, like a very small version of Pokemon, a very big version of Pokemon. Very cool themed event stickers. Not really interesting. This is not really interesting too much either whatever spawns like you know here 10 kilometer x you can look at this all if you want to but it's not really too interesting falling bonus will be permanently in effect that's something interesting um, you're always going to get guaranteed gifts from Pokestop, which is nice, and you get always increased incense effectiveness while moving, which is nice. You get like every half a minute or something uh, incense spawn if you move, which is a very cool feature. Um, following bonus will be specific for this season. You're going to do more damage still in, in person, rate, like in raids where you do with the remote raid passes. Um, you're going to have trainers level 31 plus going to get more... XL candies from trading, a guaranteed one, which is nice. And you also get a guaranteed normal candy. You can send out more gifts, which is, I think, nobody really gives out 125 gifts every day, but you can open 40, which is very cool. It gives you more um, starters, gives you more items every sea, like every day, which is really, really nice. I like this one. This one I kind of wanted to showcase here. But this is not all. We can go straight up again, and now we're going to go for the more spicier stuff. If you thought in the thumbnail, most likely, I would be lying that we're going to get... Um, special forms of some Pokemon here. We're going to take a look at the, this um, small commercial here right now. The beginning doesn't really matter too much. You're going to see some interesting things there up there as you can see. There's what is going on there in the sky. We see like Ladias and Ladios going up. We see like the wish Pokemon or whatever is coming up there. Whatever this in red up top there, let me know in the comment section what you think about it. We see like some very weird commercial stuff where they just like, yeah do some selfies or whatever but the ending going to be the most interesting thing as we see here that thing again it could be a meteor which would kind of hint towards the story of the horn thingy which would be cool but we see right crazy coming here it must be a meteor i think um and we see the starters which you're going to take a look at the event for this later that have now the mega evolutions now everything is over you think but no now we're going to see some spoilers we see here the proto version or like whatever version it is from the Groudon and the Kyoga. those are special versions will coming this season which is insanely amazing that's going to be similar compared to um something like the mega evolution and they're going to be insanely strong so basically a new mega evolved pokemon for uh, pokemon go there you're going to encounter them very likely at the end of the season which is going to be very cool it's actually the primal kyogre as you can see a primal kyogre and groudon we will see what stats they're going to have this is the main series game stats and obviously here and the pokemon go stats for them so if you have one at level 50 nerfed version you're going to have the um yeah, the, the, the CP of nearly 6,000 here with 5,910 at level 50. I wonder if like level 51 would actually give you the 6,000 rating there for those Pokemon. They might nerf it even more because they are so strong here. 
Um, it's a little bit lower than right crazer if we get this one, which would be interesting. But like you see here how crazy they can be. Um, those are the stats for those Pokemon, which is kind of nice. But let's take a look again at this one here. We're going to take a look now at the Mega Raid Day, which is going to happen on the December 3rd, this Saturday. Um, seems like it actually... It's actually very soon already. Um, we're going to be able to encounter the shiny version of those Pokemon as well, but you're going to get the Mega Energy, which is the most interesting thing. You're going to be able to encounter those Pokemon with their signature Community Day moves, which I wonder if you can also evolve in the same time or it's just like this, but we don't know. It doesn't say anything about evolving, but you will be able to get them like this. You're going to get five additional um, uh, versions here, five additional passes from raids uh, from gyms which is cool and you have a higher shiny chance than usual for shiny septile shiny blazing and shiny swamp and most likely one in ten which is going to be also very interesting uh, we have an exclusive ticket which you can buy for five dollar which i wouldn't really recommend you for like a normal person at least you will be able to get six additional one there like additional raid passes which give you up to 12 i guess it will be worth it if you actually do that many raids but for like people who don't be play that much it's not really worth it you can get increased red candy xl which is cool you have 50 more xp for uh, 50 percent more xp for raid battles which doesn't matter for me at least and two times more stardust which is then instead of 1k stardust 2k stardust which is cool but not really helpful too much either but if you do more raids anyway you can do it but otherwise it's not really worth it to be fair but yeah that's going to be it like very crazy that we're going to be able to get um the um yeah the primal forms of Kyogre and the um Groudon here you have the Groudon uh, you have the Kyogre there you're most likely going to get the same there as well because if you see like the thing up top here it's most likely the meteorite which they cannot want to try to hint towards this is like a main part of the so main part of like the gen 3 um main series storyline so basically what happened there is you cannot try to destroy this meteor with the help of a crazer you have like this big war between kyoga and groudon if you've never played those um games as well before so it's very cool to see like those forms as well as those have actually special moves as well let me say show it real quick to you as well they have both special moves already in the code already if you take a look at damage per energy you will be seeing here pressable blades and also um origin pulse with pulse which is currently um basically the same as uh, not it's the same as overheat but like does a lot of damage here it's a very good move that definitely would help out both of them i think pressable blades would be just a better version of um the move earthquake as you see there five less energy for 10 more damage and origin pulse would be most likely a good secondary um, move there instead of the um, surf but i don't know if you really want this because you kind of lose the potential coverage of thunder and the um blizzard there with the kyogre but still very cool here yeah. well let me know in the comment section what do you think about the season um what do you think about those events coming up are you excited for the home tour i am actually excited for the home tour home tour going to be amazing in my opinion very cool there. Also kind of think that uh, if this shows us what we get for the whole tour this season, I think that we're going to get for the next year the Sinnoh tour, which is going to include then very likely the primal form or like the, I don't know, the origin form, I think it's called for them, uh, for Dialga and the Palkia, which would be cool. So very nice that we have something to look forward to. I think those, like usually the early month are um, story was the coolest month in pokemon go so i'm very excited for this let me know in the comment section what you think about it and that's going to be it for the video thanks for watching see you next one have a great rest of your day bye